Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Toto Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous Their University Love. People of the best podcast of one, two, three galaxies. But you and I would just call this show Online Marketing Moves. And we are coming to you live today. Today is April the 2nd, 2024. Everybody, today we are going to talk about something. It's going to be a quick episode. It's going to be an important episode. We are going to talk about why you should not listen to everybody you see on the internet. Now, we have touched this subject before, way back in the past, way, way back, back in the day. But every now and then, I see something in my profession that I did for 18 years, the lovely profession of the wonderful world of truck driving. Ever since COVID, everybody, I have seen a lot of nonsense when it comes to people online trying to t- tell people, you know, why to buy trucks, how to buy trucks, you know, make becoming millionaires with this fashion, you know, all this kind of BS. A lot of nonsense, a lot of nonsense. And a lot of these people uh, probably, probably never drove a truck before. Some of these people probably don't own any trucks they just want to sell courses there's nothing wrong with selling courses ladies and gentlemen but at the same time you have to be careful is this person in the is this person in the business what they're trying to teach you or are they just marketers trying to sell courses now ladies and gentlemen as i told you i've been driving a long time long long time drove a long time 18 years I was a truck driver. I know a little something, something about truck driving. And so when I, whenever I see people, whenever I saw people during COVID and they were like, hey, get get into the trucking game. You know, <clears throat> rule number one to anything, whenever you want to do something, I don't care what it is, whatever business you want to start, whatever thing you want to create, whatever kind of money you want to make on the side, if you hear somebody and they talk about any type of business, like is the drug business. That's a red flag. Get away, stay away. They are full of it. Okay, <clears throat> truck driving is not, you know, any business is not like the drug business because, well, if you if you live in America, if you've been living in America long enough, if you um you, you know, drugs sell themselves the the government has a big hand in you know bringing in cocaine bringing in marijuana and then they kind of give it to you know people who who like to run with the government (laughs) run with the with the with the federal people with the feds so you know drugs sell themselves so i would not take any business advice from people who claim you know or i made a bunch of money selling drugs and I turned, I turned to rap music because I didn't want to sell drugs no more. I would not, I would not listen to people that <clears throat> act like selling drugs is a business. It's a joke. Okay, so I would stay away from that <clears throat> because I saw a lot of people. They're like, oh man, you know, you can, uh, you know, you know the drug, the trucking game. You know, you flip it, blah 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 blah. And it's like, it's it's, it's so ridiculous. It's it's. It's annoying, called actually, and it's an it's 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 a uh, it's an insult. Now, I'm not saying you can't make money. I'm not saying you cannot <clears throat> make a honest living, a decent living from driving trucks. But you're not gonna own 300 trucks in three months. You're not gonna. You, it's not gonna happen. You would <clears throat> unless you have. <laughs> Unless you have a lot of money and then you want to go out and buy 300 trucks, which by all means, you do that. Now, it's going to be hard to, the hardest thing about, you know, trucking and not to get in, not to get into truck driving. But the hardest thing about truck driving is finding people, finding people who are going to drive the truck and not steal from you, crash the truck. You know, it's, but what I'm telling you is no matter, no matter what kind of course, if you want to. If you want to learn something from people, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. But if you want to learn from people, be be mindful of, you know, their story. Because everybody has a lot of people online. They come up with the same story, you know. Oh, I was so poor, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's 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 kind of stale at this point. You know, 
oh man, you know, I was poor, or I, I, I was in jail, or I was homeless, you know. I ain't saying people aren't homeless and they haven't been to jail, but, you know, how homeless were you, you know? There's home, there's sleeping in your car for a night and then there's being homeless, okay? There's a big difference. And so I'm not saying there's, I'm not saying, you know, anybody, you know, you can't, you know, have a, a great story, but sometimes you hear the story, you're like, that story sounds like the story I just heard last week from somebody, you know? And so you you have to be mindful of these people who are trying to say your course. You know, do they do? Are they knowledgeable? Do they know what they're doing? Do they know what they're talking about? You know, what's the end game? What is what? What are you gonna make out of it? Because we all know, you know, I can say your course, but if you're not gonna do anything about it, then it's pointless. But at the same time, there are a lot of people who are gonna say your course, and you you won't be able to do anything about it because the course they sold you is a bunch of BS. And a bunch of lies and they look good on social media they take pictures in front of the truck they take pictures in front of an airplane like hey wheels up you know <laughs> all the all those kind of shenanigans you know there's a lot of charlatans you know and there's more and more charlatans that we know of now because of social media because of the internet and there are more and more charlatans now because you know i mean why work right it's easier to say hey you know I'm in Bora Bora, you know, send me money for my course and you can be in Bora Bora with me, you know, and, you know, they're in Bora Bora, and, you know, trying to get you to sell, sell a course to you so they can get back home, you know what I mean? And so we are, we have you have to be mindful of, uh, you know, the advice you're going to take, the people you're going to listen to, you know, because there are more, more and more. It's getting it's getting to be more and more charlatans in the world, more and more fraud, you know, and I laugh every now and then when I see uh the truck driving, the truck driving, the truck course and people selling, you know, they're like, you can, you can make, you become a millionaire, you know, being a dispatcher, <clears throat> you know, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm sure you can, but you have to ask them, is all your money coming from the course? Or is all your money coming from the dispatching? Which one is it? You know? And I'm not saying, like I told you, no, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with selling the course, but it's like, hey, are you are you a millionaire because because of the course you sold, or are you a millionaire from the dispatching? Because hey, there's a big difference, you know. You have to, you have to, you know. There's marketing, and then there's flat out lying. Which one are you doing? You know, hey, get you some trucks, and you ain't got to. You don't have to have a CDL. Yeah, that's good and all, but what are you gonna do when somebody's like? They drive your truck for a week, and they're like, man, F this, I'm out of here. F that truck, and they leave your truck in Oregon, you know, and you don't and you, and you you don't know how to go pick it up. Who's going to pick it up for you, you know? Then you got to pay somebody to recover. It's a lot of money, you know? So what I'm telling you is no matter what you want to do, how you want to do it, you do, 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 some, do some research before you just – spend two thousand dollars on a stupid uh course you know spend uh do some research before you plop down the twenty five hundred dollars make sure they are actually doing the thing that they say they do and not just like it's so easy to get in this trucking game you know i mean i've seen that for the last two or three years and, and you know i'm amazed i had a friend you know, i was talking to him one day i was like man it's a lot of nonsense going on with the truck and i don't know what's going on he like Man, my brother-in-law basically got into the, got into it because he's he's people told him how easy it was, and I was like, "Come on, man, it's ridiculous." He like, "Yeah, I know." He's, I think he sold his truck after like three months. I'm like, "Yeah, it's hard work, man." I don't know why these people all of a sudden they gas they gassing these people up, and then it's you know it's a, it's a hard it's a long road to hoe. And so, if you want to do something, you know. Yeah, buy a course, but watch who you buying the course from. You know, um, as I told you, if they talk about flipping, <laughs> if they talk, if they talk like they in the drug business, it's it's a definitely no no. You know, don't. You know, I saw I saw I saw a guy was talking about Wall Street, and he's like, you know, you know, talking talking about the stock market like it was you know flipping drugs, and I thought. I don't know about that. I would, I would not take advice from anybody 
like that. Okay? But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Watch who you are buying, you know, courses from. That's all I'm going to tell you. Watch who you have teaching you. And I got a I in this is a piece of advice to anybody who's who's thinking about if you if you're thinking about truck driving, don't do it. I don't care what they tell you, okay? Anyway, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. I will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Um, God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.